Are you interested in studying at the UBC Medical School? In this video, you'll learn about the UBC Faculty of Medicine's admission statistics, eligibility, application procedures, selection factors, and tips on how to get accepted. Hi, my name is Joseph Kafka, and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Now, if you would like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. And as a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Here's everything we're going to cover about the UBC Medical School. About the UBC Faculty of Medicine. Eligibility. Available programs academic curriculum, tuition and funding opportunities, selection factors, online application components, acceptance information, and waitlist. Now, let's get started. The UBC Medical School is one of the 17 medical schools in Canada and the only medical school in British Columbia. The UBC Faculty of Medicine's mission is to admit and educate students who graduate with demonstrated competencies and behaviors that will equip them to address the current and future healthcare needs of British Columbians. Their overall success rate is 12%. BC residents' success rate is 18.1%. BC residents make up 92.3% of their MD matriculants. Average MCAT score is 513. And average GPA is 87.69%. To be eligible to apply to the MD program, you must be a permanent resident, a citizen of Canada, or have a Canadian refugee status. UBC does not accept international students, which includes American applicants. To see a full list of Canadian medical schools that accept US students, please read our blog. To be an eligible candidate at UBC, you must complete all your prerequisite courses and credit minimums before April 30th of your entrance year. Be aware that preference is given to in-province students, but there is a small number of out-of-province applicants that are admitted each year. You are considered a British Columbia resident if you hold a current valid BC Services card by the application deadline. UBC delivers a great variety of programs in the areas of health and life sciences. These programs are available at undergraduate, graduate and postgraduate levels, as well as through continuing professional education and public education. The MD program is comprised of four distinct sites. Vancouver Fraser Medical Program, VFMP, Southern Medical Program, SMP, Northern Medical Program, NMP, and Island Medical Program, IMP. In total, the MD program admits around 288 students per year, 32 to the IMP, NMP, and SMP each, while 192 spots are available at the VFMP. The UBC MD PhD programs take seven years to complete, it is designed for students who want to pursue a career as clinician scientists. To apply, you need to have a Bachelor of Science degree in addition to fulfilling all the requirements of acceptance into the MD program. Students with a science degree already enrolled in the MD program are eligible to apply. This is a 26-month professional program that is fully accredited by Physiotherapy Education Accreditation Canada. You receive 45 weeks of academic coursework and a total of 1,080 hours of hands-on clinical experience. You will also have six clinical placements in diverse aspects of clinical care, including geriatrics, rehabilitation, spinal cord injury, and more. Check out our blog for a full list of programs available at the UBC Medical School. In year one, you are introduced to basic science courses and expectations of the medical profession. The courses include a brief review of basic principles of human biology and introduces the CanMed's competency domains. In year two, students are introduced to courses with increasingly complex clinical presentations, integrating foundational sciences and clinical practice themes. Furthermore, students transition from classroom-based to clinical learning environments. Clerkships begin in year three. These 12 months provide students with core experiences across the breadth of medicine through both clinical and academic learning opportunities. Students will interact with patients under the supervision of faculty members to develop a solid foundation of knowledge, skills, and abilities. In year four, you'll have six four-week clinical electives 
with transition into postgraduate education and practice. The UBC Faculty of Medicine's annual tuition for first year students equals a little over $21,000 for BC residents and out of province applicants. Depending on the year of study, beginning in your second year, your tuition and fees will fluctuate between $19,878 and $27,129. These costs include supplies, equipment, and textbook fees. Your last year of medical school is the most expensive, mostly due to licensing fees, elective experience travel expenditures, residency application fees, and residency interview travel expenses. These additional fees are rough estimates because much of your expenses will depend on your personal choices. If you're interested in learning more about other costs associated with medical school, make sure to read our blog, How Much Does Medical School Cost? The UBC Medical School has several funding opportunities. Here's just a few. Applications for the UBC General Bursary are available mid-August of each year from the Online Student Service Center. Every year, the applications are typically due in mid-September. MD students must meet eligibility criteria to apply. To be eligible, you must also be receiving government student loans for the academic year in which you are applying for this bursary and still have a remaining unmet need according to the government student loan assessment to be considered for UBC general bursaries. Approximately 20% of MD students who achieve high academic standing receive some scholarship support. Most awards and scholarships at UBC, with the exception of affiliation scholarships, do not require student application. The Faculty of Medicine automatically recommends students for medical scholarships and awards based on academic standing and other qualities. Demanding medical school tuition costs and other additional expenditures often lead students to apply for lines of credit to finance their education. Unlike government student loans, lines of credit begin accumulating interest immediately when funds are advanced and minimum monthly payments are required. For more information, UBC Medical School typically holds a student financial services evening in September, with all the major banks providing lines of credit in attendance. An email will be sent out to students notifying them of the time, date, and place. The online application system opens in early June, and the general deadline for submission of applications is October 1st. The multiple mini-interview weekends are held at the Life Science Center UBC campus between February 6th and 7th and 13th and 14th. For a full and detailed breakdown of the application timelines, check out our blog. I've provided a link in the description so that you can find the blog easily. Let's consider the selection factors and admissions requirements of the UBC Medical School. The UBC Faculty of Medicine application process has some unique elements. UBC is one of a few Canadian medical schools that do not require a CASPER test as part of your application. Letters of recommendation are not required of applicants unless they go through the interview process and are asked to submit the supplemental application. Here are the admission requirements that all students must submit. The UBC Medical School has some specific medical school requirements. You must complete a 90 credit minimum to be considered for the program. UBC requires its MD applicants to complete six credits of English coursework by April 30th of the year of entry into medical school. If you're unsure of your English coursework, See the program's English course chart to confirm whether your coursework is acceptable. If you have questions about your courses, email the program directly. Although UBC does not list any science courses as medical school prerequisites, you will have no chance of acceptance without having some science background. For your med school application, you must have a solid background in biology, chemistry, and biochemistry. UBC also suggests taking physics, statistics, and social sciences check out their science courses chart to learn more. The UBC Medical School converts your grades into a percentage. If you're an in-province applicant, you must have at least a 75% average to be considered for the MD program. If you're an out-of-province applicant, your average has to be at least 85%. According to the latest statistics, the average grade of UBC matriculants is 87.69%. Students with averages above 85% make up 78% of the matriculants. Only 3% of matriculants have averages lower than 80%. This means that to be a competitive applicant, you must demonstrate academic excellence in your transcripts. If you are still struggling to enhance your academic performance, check out our blog to find some ideas on how to get into med school with a low GPA. Be aware that Advanced Placement, AP, International Baccalaureate, 
IB, and A-level courses do not count towards the 90 credit minimum requirement and are not considered in the calculation of your GPA. However, your AP, IB, or A-levels may be used to satisfy the English requirements. Since UBC is not part of AMCAS, you can only submit your MCAT score after the results have been sent to you. Therefore, you will need to send your MCAT results to UBC through the MCAT score reporting system after the UBC online application opens. UBC does not accept MCAT scores older than five years, and you must score at least 124 in each section on a single exam to be considered for the program. You should know that the average MCAT score of UBC matriculants is 513. Remember, the admissions committee will be able to see all your scores. So if you retake the exam, make sure you show improvement. Be sure to check out our MCAT resources in the description if you want to prepare for or improve your MCAT. You must submit official transcripts in sealed and endorsed envelopes issued by your home university. You need to present transcripts from all post-secondary institutions you attended, including the schools you attended through exchange or study abroad programs. It is not enough that these courses and grades appear on your home university transcript. The UBC Medical School has its own online application system. The application fee is $126.50 for BC residents and $187.50 for out-of-province residents. See our blog for a detailed breakdown and discussion of everything you will need to provide the admissions committee, such as research publications, presentations, and employment history. The UBC Medical School follows the multiple mini interview format or MMI. Invited applicants will rotate through 11 different interview stations, spending approximately seven minutes at each station with two minutes of transition period. The entire interview will take one hour and 50 minutes to complete. To get ready for your MMI, check out the links in the description and go over our MMI resources. The UBC Medical School typically sends out acceptance offers in mid-May. You'll be notified of your acceptance through email. The acceptance package information contains important details and specific instructions, such as your non-refundable deposit and return of the response to offer form, which confirms your acceptance. If you do not receive an offer to your site of choice, you may be waitlisted for the preferred site. This wraps up our video for today. Check out our blog to learn more about the UBC Medical School, including frequently asked questions and more. I have included a link and a number of resources in the description of this video so you can find everything to help you easily. If you would like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. And hopefully you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about the UBC Medical School that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you next time.